gonna be alright. Yeah, yeah. How can you tell? Yeah, yeah. I feel it in my heart. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, yeah. The sun is shining bright. Unto another day. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be alright. gonna be okay hey, hey, hey. If at first you so welcome back everyone mike here it is first thing saturday morning it's about uh 6 a.m right now i started the day off i went to town and i went for a little walk i did about two and a half miles i would like to start doing that maybe three or four days a week and on the other days i'd like to hit the rower and the assault bike we have both of those at the house the assault bike is basically just a stationary bike. It's a pretty nice one though, and but they're called an assault bike, which we should probably be careful using that term because someone may try to take it. But anyway, we have a busy day planned today. Uh, I'm gonna head back to the house now, go to work on the building. We're gonna do some sawmilling, uh, maybe even some firewooding. We got all sorts of things going on. And also we have a pool update. I'll go over that in just a bit. And I'll just kind of show you what's going on and we'll get started. Let it go, carry on. Let it go, let it go, carry on. It's hard to let it go, let it go, carry on. Let it go, let it go, carry on. Let it go, carry on, let it go, carry on. No plug, let it go, let it go, carry on. So last night, I uh, extended this water line out some. I'll give you a look here in a minute of what the plan is. But this whole side right here, it needs a bunch of fill. Finished grade is going to be the whole way up here. So uh, Melissa just got back, got your hair done this morning, it looks wonderful. Thank you. 7 a.m. hair appointment, you don't see that very often. No, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, but, in fact, if you go to Morgan's Off the Leash, that's my YouTube channel, I'm going to put a video up and it has some footage from the hair. Nice. I am, uh, 
out here backfilling this water line. I extended this out a little bit. Let me show them what's going on here, okay. and then you can share the big news about the swimming pool. Okay. All right, so I have this uh, high-pressure water line right here, and it's going to run out to the uh, cistern tank, which is going to be right on, kind of beside you, Melissa, right out there in front of you. And I found a tank. I uh, found a good local company. It's going to be a big concrete cistern. I've looked into the plastic tanks. Uh, they appear to be pretty good as well, but they're very expensive. And also, there's a whole thing there with backfilling them with sand, which I would do that anyway. But you're supposed to fill them up as you backfill them. And for me, I just think the concrete will be a little bit better way to go. So that concrete cistern tank will sit right in there. This high-pressure water line will run into it. reason I don't have an electric line running out to it, we're going to use a jet pump inside the building. So I don't need a submersible in the tank. I think it'll work out really good for our needs. So that's the uh, story on the water tank and the pump. Tell them about the swimming pool, Melissa. The swimming pool is coming June 3rd. It's going to be right here at 16 by 40, and uh, we're super excited. Yeah, yeah. June 3rd, uh, that's when they start the install. 16 by 40, and then there's like a, what do they call it, a tanning ledge or something? Yeah. there's a tanning ledge. It'll be like perfect for the grandkids. And, um, and that pours into the pool? Is that how that works? That's the way we're going to have it, yeah. Okay. So yeah, 16 by 40, 16 being this way, 40 being that way. And this road here, uh, we'll just end up scooting it over a little bit. Initially, th I thought I would have to eliminate that road, yeah. but I'll just move it over about 10 feet probably, and we'll have a fence all the way around the pool here. And then when you come up this way, I'll show you that in a minute. I'll show you where all the concrete's going to go. So yeah, the swimming pool, Melissa's in the pool right now, 16 by 40. And then this area right here, you know, underneath there is going to be the patio. We'll have chairs and stuff and whatever there to go out to the pool. And then where Melissa's standing here, this will all be concrete as well. And somewhere right out in here, I'm thinking a nice firing, you know, not too close to the building. But obviously out from underneath the shed roof and a little bit away from the pool. But we're not going to skimp on the concrete around the building. I'd like this all right. plenty of yeah. plenty of room. All right, before I get back to work, we will uh, quickly review what we talked about there. Swimming pool over there. Right in here. Big cistern tank. That's the water line for it. High pressure water line. No pump in the tank. We'll have a jet pump inside. Underneath here will be the patio. On the other side of that will all be concrete with a fire ring. And also we didn't mention, I'm going to have this road. We'll come out through here to go down to the Renewable Resources Processing Center. The road will not go over top of the tank or anything like that. The tank will sit in between the road and the swimming pool. And by the way, you can see I got more of that uh, three inch foam board in. We worked on that some this week. Uh, Melissa's dad and Levi came over one evening. We got a bunch done. A lot more to do. That's quite the job. It really is. But uh, once we get this dressed up, I'll go inside there and kind of show you what we're doing. And I need to get rid of some dirt from inside the building. I'm getting a little dirt bound. Okay, I have a little bit of this uh, 2A limestone left outside, not very much at all, 
But I'm going to bring it in, finish filling in around these pipes right here, and then I'll get rid of some of this excess dirt and at least get this section of the building in here close to subgrade. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that right now until we get all the foam board in. Once it's in, I'll set up my rotating laser, probably use the uh, BX and the box blade. I'll probably even go a little bit low, you know, like two and a half inches of uh, 2B limestone instead of just two inches, just because it's a little bit easier to grade stone than it is this hard shale. And then I need to go buy that uh, plate compactor. I'm looking at that Harbor Freight one. I've been looking at a few others. Uh, I know Northern Tool makes one, but I don't have one of them near here, and I know it would be several days to get it. I should have ordered one last week. But I'll get a plate tamper and just kind of run it over the whole thing once I get it on subgrade. And when I put the stone down, I'll run the plate tamper over it as well, make sure everything's compacted really well. But when I graded all this up before we built the building, it was good and hard, you know. So where I need to focus mostly is where this stone is, which it compacts pretty well. The 2A limestone has that dust in it, so there's not a lot of voids in it at all. You know, once you get it leveled up and smoothed out, it can't really compress much more than it already is or can't really compact more than it already is. So while I'm inside working, uh, Melissa's going to get started doing some staining out here. And although it is a metal building, we do have just a little bit to stain. You want to show them what yeah. you got going on? Just this band board at the bottom. That's going to be, um, finished grade's going to be about right here. And this stain is October brown. And it matches up fairly well. Uh, I like it. We've tested it on a place already. And I'm going to go along and do that. But before, I'm going to use this ice scraper to just go along the bottom of that board and pull away the stone just a little bit. Yeah, and like you said, most of that's going to be covered anyway, and that is ground contact lumber. Uh, it's a really, it's the only part of the wood that we need to really maintain on the entire building. Right. So, won't be too bad. I think the key is on these things is keep the water uh, flowing away from the building. So the building's up on top of a hill, and everything slopes away from it. That's very important, at least in my opinion. And uh, right. this building will last us the rest of our lives. All right, I'm going to go inside and get busy. You're going to be busy out here. We've got a lot going on. All right, let's go.
All right, things are looking much better. Getting all this extra dirt cleaned up. I have just a uh, little bit more. Look at this here. How you making out up there? So yeah, coming along. Just came out here to check on Melissa. You are on your third side. No, fourth side. This is the last one. The home stretch. The home stretch. You have another 72 feet to go. I can do it. That's good. We were just sitting here looking at one of those big woodpeckers out in the woods there, beating his head against a tree. Sometimes that feels like what we're doing. Yeah, that's true. True, true. Don't get me started. Hey, did you want me to pull these staples out? No, that'll all be covered anyways. Oh, it? Okay. Yeah. This is where that uh, Versetta stone will go, which we need to do that here soon as well. But anyway, I got a little bit more dirt to move inside. I'm going to do that. And uh, just keep moving forward, miss. Okay. Did you get video of that? I can't, I'll never okay. see him with this little okay. camera. All right. You're on the home stretch, Melissa. You're getting yeah. stiff. Just stretching, Mike. Just, just stretching. Just stretching. Mike told me when I started this, he's like, you're going to be sore tomorrow. Because you're doing something you're not used to doing. Yeah, that's kind of like me being nice, you know? Before you know it. I'm nice, being nice. Before you know it, I'm not sore. <laughs> uh, so we have a pretty aggressive schedule here for the uh, for the building. Want to get done by July with everything, but we're going to get some help, and uh, I think we'll make it. I think everything will be fine. Yeah, I do too. Especially if the weather keeps staying like it is. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. It is. In the sun, it's warm. But if you're in the shade, it's nice and cool. Feels good. But anyway, you want to wrap this video up? Yeah. Oh, one thing. Check out our new Facebook page as well as the old one, Outdoors with the Morgans Videos. Okay. I'll put a link in the description of that. I share kind of shorter videos on it. Most you'll see here on YouTube. Some are a little bit different. But if you're on Facebook, it's worth a check. So check that out. So it's Outdoors with the Morgans Videos. Yes. The word videos at the end. All right, thanks so much for being here and watching. Make sure you're subscribed. Comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, share them with your friends. We'll see you on the next one.